Greetings. I'm here for our new moon reading for the new moon in Sagittarius taking place at 1018 a.m. United States Central Standard Time on Monday, December 14th. On December 14th, there will also be a total eclipse of the sun. This will be the last eclipse of this decade. The cards that I have pulled for this new moon reading will offer us the guidance and the messages to assist us with best traversing the energies of this new moon and solar eclipse. The first card is the Seven of Rods. The Seven of Rods is all about coming to the end of a difficult challenge. It's been an uphill battle, but you're now at the top of the hill. You should not give up now because the challenges are nearing an end. They may seem to get more difficult right before the end, but the end is coming and the rewards will be palpable. The next card is the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles speaks to us of our hard work, especially those endeavors that take a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of mental strain, a lot of dedication, things that may physically and mentally deplete us. The message that comes along with the Eight of Pentacles is that our hard work is worth it. The rewards we will receive will surpass the energy and time that we have given to the project. Don't be afraid of giving too much of yourself because some of the rewards that will come your way are unforeseen. There may be some surprises in store. The next card is the Empress card, which speaks to us of abundance, prosperity, fertility, creativity, and beauty. The Empress card brings us down to earth. She is about embodiment. She is about enjoying our five senses, enjoying our physical bodies, finding ways to express and experience beauty in our physical worlds. The Empress card is here to show us a physical representation of those rewards that will be coming to us after our hard work. But with the Empress card here, it's also an excellent time to put forth some effort and energy to the physical surroundings that you reside in. This can mean your physical body. It can also mean your physical space. It's a good time to emphasize beauty in your personal world and to find a way to experience that beauty with your body and with your five senses. Maybe a good time for a makeover. Maybe a good time to start moving your body in a new way to express yourself through dance or yoga or kickboxing. It may be a good time to create art, to partake in arts and crafts, to make things with your hands, to do some gardening, to get your hands in some dirt, to buy a new perfume, to adorn your home with flowers. Find joy through beauty and find ways to connect with beauty. Perhaps visiting a museum or looking at photographs of beautiful artwork online or through books. The last card is the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups speaks to us of filling our cup, being renewed, refreshed, revitalized within our hearts. Having a new connection to our heart-centered feelings. This can be a new love connection. It can also be just a replenishment of our emotional selves and our own relationship to love. The Queen of Cups is a signifier that our cups will be full. Our hearts will be full. We can expect to end this moon cycle 
with a full heart. Putting all of these cards together, this month's new moon spread definitely speaks to us of the hard work that we have been putting in in our personal lives. This is not just about our work lives. This is not just about employment or career or money related endeavors. This is about the work that we've been putting into our home lives and our personal lives. The structures of our lives that provide us with security, emotional security, family security, mental security. These foundational structures of our lives have been requiring a lot of our time, effort, and energy. We may have been recently facing some challenges in our interpersonal relationships, perhaps doing some deep work on ourselves in regard to how we relate to others within these important foundational relationships, figuring out who to turn to for support and how to approach that support, how to express ourselves when we need support how to connect with others in a way that is consensual and healthy, how to give and receive support consensually, how to navigate these kinds of supportive and intimate relationships with boundaries and with good intentions and with the highest good and a conscious awareness in mind. The hard work has seemed to get a little bit harder recently, but you are encouraged by this spread. You are encouraged that the majority of your challenges are about to end and you will reap the rewards. And the rewards are going to be more bountiful than what you have imagined. You will receive a return, a reciprocal return of the energy that you've been exuding. Now, this part does also apply to our financial lives. If there has been a project that you've been working hard on, it could be a creative project. It could be a work-related project. You will also receive a return on those efforts. I do see financial returns coming in the near future. This will be a good a good moon all around for receiving what is due to you, for getting a return on the efforts you've been putting out into the world. So wherever you have been putting in the most energy, Whatever endeavors have been taking up the majority of your focus and your efforts, these endeavors are expected to give you a return around this new moon and shortly after. In addition, it will be a good moon to enjoy your home life, your physical body, and your physical and personal relationships, bringing it down to earth, enjoying these things in a way that is concentrated on the physical embodiment of yourself. So this is a good time to get grounded physically in your body, to touch base with yourself regarding your feelings. How are you feeling emotionally? How are you feeling physically? And then to make a conscious effort to spend some time enjoying the positive aspects of your physical being, the positive aspects of being a human in the physical world, finding ways to express yourself through your body. In whatever way that you most need now or in whatever way you've been lacking recently, this can mean connecting with others on an intimate level. This can mean sensual expression, sexual expression, romance. It can also mean that your body needs some extra care and attention. 
It's a good time to make yourself feel beautiful. It's a good time to luxuriate in Venusian energies. It's a good time to pay some extra attention to your romantic relationships, not just sensually and sexually, but also regarding matters of the heart. Have you been giving enough of yourself to your important relationships lately? We know that many of us have been putting in a lot of work to the structure of those relationships, perhaps the intellectual aspects of the relationship or the power dynamics of the relationship or the communication aspects of the relationship. Well, this new moon is telling you that challenge is about to pass and now is a good time to start turning your attention to the emotional side of that relationship. What kind of energy have you been putting towards uh, expressing and giving and exuding love? Uh, how have you been taking the time to show love in your personal relationships? How have you been taking the time to show appreciation? So some acts of kindness, some acts of love, some acts of appreciation and gratitude, some romance, some physical and sensual expression. Those are some beautiful energies to call into your life, to call into your home, and to call into your relationships this new moon. It does look like many of us will be ending this moon phase with a full heart, feeling replenished in our relationships, feeling replenished within our own personal connection to love, and you can only strengthen that feeling by putting forth some conscious effort towards aligning with those energies. Many, many blessings. Be well.